This tutorial will discuss the process of creating a planner task controller configuration on the AgLeader Integra or Versa display. The first step in the process will be to enable the virtual terminal and task controller under console setup. From the home screen, press the setup button, highlight the console button, and from the general tab, press ISO bus settings. Checkmark enable virtual terminal and enable task controller. Press the check mark. Now press the VT button on the toolbar and load the object pool to verify the task controller is enabled in the virtual terminal. This may take a few minutes. In the Kinsey 4900 object pool, press the settings button and then controller to confirm the task controller is enabled. Now toggle to the home screen and press the Devices button in the upper right corner. Select Can Be and highlight the generic ISOBUS node. Information from the planner should populate to the right. Exit the Devices page and from the home screen press the Setup button to begin the display configuration. From Configuration Setup, press the green plus to add a configuration. Choose Planting Configuration Type. The first step will be to add a planning tractor. Press the plus. To find the tractor make and model. When finished, press next. At the attachment point page, enter the distance from rear axle to the applicable mounting points. the vehicle name page, press the keypad to edit the vehicle name once more or press the green check mark to acknowledge. The vehicle page, press the key, uh, the wrench by offsets to change vehicle offsets. This can also be done at a later time. At the implement page, press the green plus to add an implement. The implement type will be planter and press the keypad to enter the make and model. to find the implement attachment type and enter a distance from the hitch to the application point. At the implement options page, do not select these options unless an AgLeader module is performing these functions. In the case of the Kinsey 4900, the only possible option would be AgLeader's hydraulic downforce. The next step will be to define a controller. Press the plus to add. The device will be ISO bus, and the controller name will be generic. Press the keypad to edit the controller name, if desired. Press the check mark when finished. With this new seed rate controller, press next. Set the planner rows and spacing. At the section count page, specify the number of implement sections. This will be taken directly from the ECU information that we looked at earlier. In the case of this 4900, there are 10 sections. At the application channels page, assign the application controllers if applicable. For this 4900, press granular application. At the rate controller page, it is vital to select the same controller as we previously created for the seed rate controller. Press next. Recall from the ECU information that the 4900 has one section of control for insecticide. At the container page, edit the container name, capacity, and units. Press next. Section count, assign one section for the 4900 for insecticide control. The swath width page, press the keypad to edit the swath width 
and at application point offset, enter the distance from hitch to application point. After assigning the granular ISOBUS controller for this 4900, press Next. Edit or acknowledge the implement name and press Next. The number of drives the number of drives will be determined by the ECU information. For this 4900, there are two drives, one left and one right. The ECU information also states that there are five seed sections per drive. At the speed source page, set the primary speed source. Lastly, acknowledge or edit the full configuration name. Press the check mark when finished. At this time, verify the configuration is correct by loading it to the run screen. Press the operating configuration button and expand the drop down. The Kinsey 4900 configuration should have a green check by it.